Good morning and welcome to morning prayer from All Saints Car Shelton. For morning prayer and evening prayer, we use the Church of England's daily prayer app. Today the Church celebrates the Feast of Mary Magdalene. All four Gospels give Mary Magdalene a unique place among Jesus' followers. <clears throat> Probably from Magdala by the Sea of Galilee. She is described as having been healed by Jesus before accompanying him during his ministry. Along with other faithful women, she stayed beside the cross during the crucifixion and was the first dis disciple to discover the empty tomb on Easter morning. She was privileged with the first appearance of the risen Lord, who sent her to take the good news of the resurrection to the other disciples. This commission earned her the title Apostle to the Apostles in the Early Church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you have made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We say Psalms 30, 32 and 150. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of, of his. Give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye, his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord of your goodness, have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me. And I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off sack my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue.
my bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you. And my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions to, to the Lord. And you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood, it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule, which have no understanding. Whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked. But mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God in his heaviness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancers. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. <coughs> the first reading is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 16, verses 14 to the end. Now the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord tormented him. And Saul's servants said to him, See now, an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Let our Lord now command the servants who attend you to look for someone who is skilful in playing the lyre. And when the evil spirit from God is upon you, he will play it, and you will feel better. So Saul said to his servants, Provide for me someone who can play well, and bring him to me. One of the young men answered, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a man of valour, a warrior, prudent in speech, and a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. So Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread, a skin of wine, and a kid, and sent them by his son David to Saul. And David came to Saul, and entered his service. Saul loved him greatly, and he became, became his armour-bearer. Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David remain in my service, for he has found favour in my sight. And whenever the evil spirits from God came upon Saul, David took the lyre, and played it with his hand and Saul would be relieved and feel better, and the evil spirit would depart from him. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God who created the heavens, who fashions the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it,
and spirits to those who walk in it. I am Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people. A light to the nations to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Second reading is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. Soon afterwards, Jesus went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, as well as some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward, Chusa, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name, you are mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. After the Sabbath, towards the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of old, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. After the Sabbath, towards the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Father, as we begin this new day, remembering the life and ministry of Mary Magdalene, 
We pray for all who point to the resurrection. We pray for your healing touch, just as you healed Mary. We pray that you will heal those of us who are dear to us. We pray for your healing for Sally, Mindy, Matrix, Roy, Roy Lewis, Darrell and Albie. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray today for a joy in our faith. Just as Mary joyfully pointed to you and followed you wherever you went, we pray that you will help us and all your church to do the same. We pray that the joy of our faith may so shine forth that it may be attractive to the world. all who have not yet seen your light may come to know you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for this, this day for all who will be lonely, for the socially, socially isolated, pray that they will be firm in the, in the knowledge that they are never alone, but always have you by their side. And we pray for all who seek to mitigate against the effects of social isolation, for care workers who visit people in their homes, for all ministers and priests who visit the lonely and the sick, for good and charitable neighbours, all who work for charities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. As always, Lord, we continue to pray for this place of Carshalton. especially pray this day for our parks and places of recreation. We pray that they may be places of joy and safety. And that during this time of hot weather, there may be places of good escape and places of fun and enjoyment. We pray for all who maintain our public spaces in Carshalton. And we give you thanks for them. We pray that they will feel the recognition and the warmth that people feel for keeping Carshalton to running and together. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So Heavenly Father, we also lift up to you all who have died during the night that has just passed. Of those who have died recently, who are known to, to us, we pray especially for Blake Mason. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of mind and body, and called her to be a witness to his resurrection, forgive our sins and heal us by your grace, that we may serve you in the power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.